guys, welcome to my little paintbrush. I am Miss Sarah and today we are going to honor the Marine Corps War Memorial by painting it on canvas. I'm really excited about this, kind of a fun one. We get to blend um, and be a little bit loose as we go. So you're gonna want a bristly brush, something you can stamp with. I have these two, these are some of my favorites. This is just an old brush I got from Home Depot. This one you can find pretty much anywhere. It's a round bristly brush, but just something you can use to stamp with. Okay, we're gonna stamp paint today. And that's what we're gonna start off doing because we want our background to dry. And as you do this, just have fun, okay? Have fun with it. Try not to stress too much. This is really a fun painting. Anyone can do it. But just remember, we don't all paint alike. So as you're painting this, try and give it your own twist. Um, Let's see. Okay, so this is my canvas here. It's slightly bigger than yours, but it's pretty much the same. First thing we're gonna do is take our bristly brush, whichever one you choose to use, and load it up with some white. Okay, just like that. And you're just gonna stamp. I'm gonna try not to make too much noise here as I go. This is kind of a loud, kind of loud as we go. All right, but the reason we're gonna do white first because we're gonna start to fade our blue. You wanna work kind of quick with this. Whenever we do this kind of texture work, you wanna work quickly with your paint because if it dries, it just makes it a little more difficult to get the end result. So, work quickly. We're gonna just go right around here, around our trace memorial. Now that I have white about as far as I want it, I'm gonna gradually start adding in some blue. So you see I have all my colors here on my canvas. Put a little blue, white, okay. Now I want it lighter blue here, so I'm gonna start my blue up a little higher and bring it down slowly because if you have it um, right here, straight into your white, then it's gonna be a dark, dark result. And we want it to fade. So I start a little higher and as I use up my paint, I gradually start to bring it down into my white. See that? That way, it slowly fades in. And because you're stamping, you have so much paint on there that you don't have to worry about it drying up on you as quickly. So I start above the white and work my way down. Now remember, if you feel like it's too dark and you don't love it, it's all right, just add some more white to it after it dries. You don't want to add the white on top of the blue or it just turns into a light blue and not very light. So if you need to cover anything up, let it dry for a minute. Okay, so I always start light with my blue. I can go back and add more blue if I want to make it darker. Start with a little bit. Just makes it easier on us if we want to change things, okay? Now I'm going to bring this blue now that I haven't dipped it again, right? It's just whatever's left on my brush. I'm just gradually bringing it down into my painting. Always start above, a little higher up. If you get more blue on your, on your brush, start up higher and bring it down into that wet white. Okay? If you want, just watch me first before you do this, okay? Watch for a minute and get an idea of how it works and then start painting because you'll pick up on it as we go. All right, so see how it's pretty light, right? I'm gonna start adding some darker blue now, right up here at top. I want the top of my canvas to be a lot darker. So going up high. This is where you can wrap your canvas. You can paint the top of your canvas here and the sides as you go. That is always a great way to finish up a painting. So just gradually bring it into your light blue, just like we did with the white. Okay, you can add more white to it if you want it lighter. I'm not rinsing my brush at all. I've just gradually added more and more paint. There we go, I'm gonna add some more blue right up here. I want it really dark in the corner, so I'm not afraid to add a lot of just the dark blue paint to the top of the canvas. That's how I want it. So just put that in there. We're just stamping it in and bringing it down. Now remember as you start to come down, 
you want to add either white to your brush or go really light with that blue. Okay, we don't want it to be too, too dark as you come down. I'll show you how you can correct anything though here in a minute. Okay, so there we go. I'm just going around the memorial. I'm gonna keep my memorial as the main focus. So I'm going around it, keeping it nice and light. Okay, I want it to kind of fade out. So I'm gonna add some more white to my brush now. And start bringing it up here so my blue isn't too dark. There we go. Kind of let it fade out. You have to just decide when you're done, when you feel like I have enough, I'm good. I like to play with it a lot, sometimes too much. <laughs> sometimes I just keep going until I've taken away all the cool effect. So you gotta know when to stop. All right. All right, so the goal now is to make it a lot darker up top, right? We wanna keep that our goal here. Keep it nice and dark up here up top where the flag is gonna be waving. So once I feel like I have enough blue, I'm actually gonna add some black to my brush, just to the outer edge of my canvas. There we go, so we have all our shades. It's kind of fun, right? All right, now I'm gonna add some black to my brush. I didn't rinse it or anything. But start at the top, just add that black in there. Just along the top of your canvas, like this, along the top. And then gradually fade it into your blue. Gradually bring it down. Now, if your paint is drying as fast as mine is right now, this will be tricky. You have to move pretty fast. I'm in a warm room, so my paint is drying really quick. So I'm having to keep adding a lot of blue to my brush as I do this. If yours is doing that, just keep adding blue to keep your brush damp. Okay. Because you want it to that black to fade into your blue. You don't want that super strong con contact, ugh, contrast. You want it to fade. All right. And just remember that your flag is gonna be waving right through here. So we want it kind of dark. Okay, looking good. I added a little white to my brush because I want that to fade out. There you go. We don't want any harsh lines. You wanna keep tapping until you don't have any more harsh lines. Looks pretty good though. So I'm gonna put some white on my brush here. I really want to keep this lighter here. So I put some white on my brush to brighten it up there around my monument. So if you, this is what I mean, if you feel like you have too much blue, it's okay. Let it dry for a minute, mine is super dry. So now I can go back and just add any of those, any of that white that I really want to stand out. Okay, I'm gonna tap a little bit of my blue in here in between my monument. Anywhere you feel like you want that shading to show up. Okay. Remember to keep that white in there so everything goes together a little bit here. Right. I don't want to lose my lines. Around the sides. There we go. Now we want this to dry while we paint our monument. Okay. 
So we want to put our flag in. So you're just going to let it be for a little bit. So I'll make sure it's dark enough right here around where my flag is going. This is different every time you do it. So it's okay. If you go back a little bit and just add details, you want to make sure it's nice and dark just where that flag's going to be blowing. Okay. We got a drip. Good thing we're putting black right over that. All right, guys. I like it. It looks really good. Just kind of have to mess with it until it fades in just the way you like. And bring that blue down. Okay, let's let that dry a minute. Make sure you check your sides. I'm going to now start painting my monument while that's drying, okay? So use your detail brush first. It's a small brush. Let's get our black nice and wet. Now, whenever I'm painting a monument or outlining anything, I want to go around it first with this detail brush. The reason I do that is it gives me a smooth edge before I just paint the inside. It's really important, unless you're good with a big brush and you can get those edges very easily. We like to teach some of our young artists to take it easy and go ahead and paint in the edges first before you paint the inside, okay? They are usually really glad they did this first. Makes it easy for them later on. You can also fill in tiny areas. Now this is inspired by the um, Marine Corps War Monument, but it's obviously just a little bit different. You'll notice some little things that are different. Whenever we create something, we give it our own little spin. So some of the, the soldiers here in the monument are slightly different. Okay, so I'm going around all these little edges because then when I come back with a bigger brush, I don't have to worry about getting too close and messing something up. Gonna quickly go around just like that. Go around these and see how there's tiny little areas here. We want to just slow down. Go ahead and do those with this detail brush. All the way around. I'm also going to go ahead and do my flagpole while I have my smaller brush. If your paint is still wet, that's okay. Black covers everything, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Now just take your pole right off the edge of your canvas there. Try and keep a straight line if you can. It's tricky to do, I know. You can hold your canvas while you're doing this. Makes it a little easier than doing it standing up like this. Usually when I'm painting small things like this, I'm holding my canvas. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in these smaller areas that I no will be trickier with a big brush. All right, let's go ahead and keep following this down. All the way around. The 
that little hat, little tip of the hat there. All right, and this goes right off the canvas. Let's go ahead and get around these little areas. Go right around here. And right here on this arm, it's also a smaller area, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in. We're gonna go right around here as well. And around. Okay. Almost done, guys. You'll be glad you took the time to do this, though. I promise. It will make it so much quicker when you go back to fill in all the space. Okay. That one, one more here. All the way around. Okay. Looks good, guys. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm just going to switch up my brushes to a medium flat load it up with some black and this part's fast and easy you're just going to go ahead fill in that space quickly now you can just quickly go through because you've done all your edges so filling it in is a lot faster obviously don't want to go out of the lines too much there right way up fill in all these little areas okay black is kind of tricky when you're filling in a canvas because you have lots of white pockets that are sometimes tricky to fill if you're finding that it's a pain and you're not able to fill it in very easily add some water to that black okay it's all about the consistency of that black I promise you if you add some water you'll notice a big difference in how it goes on. I also paint the bottom of my canvas black to go with my War Memorial here. So you can go ahead and paint that bottom part. All right, taking our time to paint all of these and it gives the top part of our canvas a minute to dry before we put our flag in. That thick paint needs a second. But the texture is so fun. I love the texture whenever we stamp on canvas. All right, to fill this all in all the way over. All the way down. Make sure we get all of these little, little tiny pieces. And wrap your canvas over here as well, right around the edge. There we go. All the way around. Okay. Nice. Let's get this last little piece. Now they're holding the pole here, so just one thing you want to make sure you do is get that straight line, okay, going straight down. There we go. All right, so now that we have it all filled in, you're just going to add a little bit of white to the bottom of your canvas, and it is still wet, and that's okay. You're just going to make a little bit of a heel here to show that the ground is uneven. They're climbing that, that rocky hill. Okay, so you can just add those little strokes of white just to give that illusion. Put 
as much as you want in there. It's personal preference. Here we go. Nice job. All right, so we wanna make sure the top of our canvas is dry before we add our flag in. So you guys can just check it. Make sure if it's not, you just wanna give it a minute. Let it dry for just a sec. If it is ready to go, it's gonna be the easiest flag you've ever done. You're gonna love this. Okay, mine is, is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. Just use a medium flat brush, okay? And your flat brush should match about the width of the stripes you're gonna use for your flag. All right, so I'm going to do a red stripe first. Start with red. And I'm going to do about, let's see, I'll start right here above the hand, all right, of this soldier. And I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five stripes before I add my blue square. And the idea is to press, okay, we're going to start here. You're going to press down, kind of make this U shape and let it fade out, okay? So we have that one. I'm going to you leave space for my white U shape and let it fade out. There's two U shape, let it fade out. Okay, and as it fades, that's going to kind of just be where your stroke will end. And it's different for everybody, and that's what makes it so cool. Okay, so I'm going to stop there and rinse my brush. Make sure it's super clean, get that red out, because we're going to use white next. Okay. And I'm going to go right into my white. I don't want to spread my, my red too much into my white, but it's okay if there's a little bit. Just adds to some of the details. So now you're going to go right between your red, red and add that white stroke. Let it fade out, just like that. Okay. And go right between this red here. Go up. Fade out. You'll need one more layer on your white, most likely. I did. I'm going to come here, go up, and just let it fade out, just like that. Okay, I'm rinsing my brush. I'm going to add my blue in now, right here in the upper corner. So I'm loading my brush with blue. All I'm going to do is fill it in so it fades out to the top with blue, okay? I'm just gonna kind of guess on where I want it to end here for my other stripes. So just kind of come out as far as you want that blue to go and let it fade out to the top. Now rinse your brush again. We're gonna finish up our stripes there on the top. I'm gonna add some red now to my brush again, right? Now this one just starts here at the blue and it fades out. You can let that go as far as you want into the dark if you want different layers. Okay, my last stripe is just right here at the top. And it's gonna hit the top of your canvas, just like that. I'm just gonna let it fade out. You don't wanna be too heavy with your brush. Be kinda of light there and let that fade out. Okay, so now that you've done that, good work. You can go right back over it real quick if you want to, if you want it just a little bit brighter, it's a matter of preference on that. Okay, just kind of want it waving out there. And I like doing some of my stripes longer than others. Some are shorter, right? That gives it a lot of character. All right, let's let that dry a second. We'll come back and do our white in a minute. But while we wait, I'm gonna flip my brush around Use the back of my brush to get that chocolate chip. And we're gonna add some random dots to our flag here. Okay, random sizes and random areas. I'm not being too picky about it. You can let it go fade right off your canvas. Add as many as you want. You can be as strong or light as you want there with your hand. Okay, the harder you press and the more white you put on there, the bigger your dot will be. So you can do all different sizes. 
Good work, okay. I'm gonna flip my brush around. Let's go right back in here, make sure my white is, has that last layer. Oh, got too much on that one. Okay, let it fade out. And one more here, let it fade out. And then if you want to add a little more up there, there you go, guys. Good work. I'm going to grab my detail brush now. Put a little bit of black on it right here. Okay. And I'm going to outline my flag. It's kind of coming away from the pole here. If you notice. So I'm just going to come over here. Clean it up. Awesome. It's awesome, guys. Good work. All right, one last little detail just for fun. If you want to do this, grab the brush that you used for stamping. If you want to kind of give it that rustic faded look, put a little bit of black on your stamping brush like this. Okay, come right up here to your flag and stamp in a little bit of that black to make it look like it's just kind of fading into the background. Kind of cool, right? Super cool. Guys, you did it. I bet it looks awesome. Be sure to share it with us. I wanna see it. And let's sign it because that is our most important rule at My Little Paintbrush. We own our work, so we work hard on it. So find yourself a spot and sign your name. I'm just going to put it right here in gray along the edge of my soldier here. Just like that. And there you have it, guys. Thanks for painting with us. We'll see you next time. Bye.